Hi, so I've had kind of a rough night. It's nine in the morning and it's just starting to get light outside here in Spain. The sun rises if it was going to rise, but it's overcast today. Sun rises just uh, before 9 a.m. So last night I stayed in a town called Samos and in a albergue called uh, Convento do Tras. Maybe that's Tras do Convento, something one or the other. Anyway, I had a, a room to myself. I had a room with two twin beds. So I um, uh, so I didn't need to take up my sleeping bag last night because the beds already had blankets and stuff on them. So I get into bed last night and, you know, read and then I fall asleep. But I wake up because my, I'm, I'm sore this morning. My, my, my right wrist is really sore and I, I don't, quite know why but I think it, it was the bracelet that I have there and I keep my phone underneath my pillow so I think just kind of the pressure just just where my wrist happened to be on the phone and so my wrist was really sore so I got up and I turned the light on and came back to bed and now because I've got the covers back I see blood and I'm thinking what the hell and um uh, you know, I don't, I'm not cut anywhere. And, and then I see blood a little further down and now I see a bug. I think, holy crap, is that a bed bug? I've never seen a bed bug. It was dead, whatever. Maybe I rolled over on it and killed it. But, um, and then I see one crawling on the wall. So I take a picture of it before I smushed it and killed it. And, um, um, now I'm really quite concerned because, you know, I always read the reviews before I, before I book a, a, an albergue at bed for the night. And I went back and I looked at the reviews and somebody just posted a review yesterday that, that he stayed there three nights ago and there were bed bugs. Well, you know, that information might've been a little bit helpful for being a bit faster at posting the bed bugs. So then I added my two cents and I added a review and said, yes, bed bugs. So, um... I must have killed about a dozen bed bugs that I spotted crawling on the walls last night. And I just never got back to sleep again. So I've been up since two. But I heard a lot of activity. There was a lot of movement going on in the other um, bedrooms, uh, dormitories, bunk beds and stuff. So I, I, obviously, I think same thing, bed bugs, people leaving early. I, I had um, transport booked for my, my backpack. You can see my backpack is right here with me on the, I'm just taking a break on a log, finally saw somewhere where I could sit down. And um, I thought, you know, I, I have to leave my, my bag downstairs, but but it was locked. They, they have a bar and, and a restaurant downstairs. And that's where you leave it. But th they're locked. It, it can't get in. I don't know what time they're opening. So at this point, I'm thinking, to hell with it. I'm going to pack my bag. I'm going to walk with my backpack today, even though my knee is kind of screaming at me. And um, then I sent a message to the um, the transport company that I, I was taking my backpack. There was nowhere to leave it because they were locked. And I just got out of there. I just couldn't stay in there. Oh, creepy, creepy, creepy bed bugs. I've never seen a bed bug in my life before. I'm about 130 kilometers to Santiago. So I've come over 600 kilometers without spotting a bed bug. So not, not good, not at all happy. But you know, at least my, you know, I wasn't in my sleeping bag. So my sleeping bag was in my, in my backpack and my backpack was in the closet. So hopefully I don't have any little you know, any little hitchhikers in there today. I, I don't think so because, you know, it was, it was on a hook on the closet. So, so probably okay. But anyway, I'm really tired. And the next albergue I'm going to doesn't open for check-in until one o'clock. And like I say, it's just nine o'clock. I've already walked almost 11 kilometers. I have about uh, five or six more to go before I'm at the town where I'm going to spend the night, which is Saria. That's just over 100 kilometers from Santiago. So here I am, sleep deprived, sitting on a log, trying to have a little bit of a rest. Buen Camino.